Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to reach out to me for more business help and support, then visit the description below. There's a number of ways that you can get in contact with me to get help with your business or send me any questions that you might have to either grow, scale, or learn more about our Sports Accelerator program, which is pretty much one of the one of the number one uh, programs out there for coaches who want to start and grow a sports training business in the sport and in the city where you live. Now, today I want to share with you the secrets to securing your share of this million dollar sports training industry. Now, every single day I sit down in my office and I go through I do a little bit of research on our industry. Now, something I'm seeing is that it's constantly growing, right? Every single day, there's more and more trainers coming into this type of uh, niche. There's more parents willing to invest in into trainers. And with technology, AI, there's a lot more different ways that trainers can now help clients and customers. So it's an ever growing industry and it's estimated to be in its in the millions, okay? And it's it's going to to grow more and more. Now, I'm not exactly sure how much it's actually worth, okay? Because that's very difficult to tell. I think with any industry it's very difficult to tell, but I go through with the value, right? The value of this industry, the results it gets for customers and the problem it solves. Um, it's definitely in, it's a million dollar industry. Now, a lot of coaches, unfortunately, are struggling to get their share of this million dollar industry, right? And that's because there's certain things that aren't established in their business that isn't allowing them to become successful, right? Now, there's a statistic out there that in, in the multiple sports that we're in, the, the, the sport of basketball, for instance, there's a lot more trainers out there doing this on a more full-time basis. Soccer, it's gradually growing and it will get to the point where there's more coaches doing it full-time. And other sports, such as tennis, uh, baseball, uh, sports that are more spe uh, specially specialized, there's a lot of trainers as well doing it full time. Okay, now to be to become a full time trainer, it's not a case of doing twenty to thirty sessions per week and calling yourself a full time trainer. Okay, because you could be doing twenty to thirty sessions per week, but the money that you're you, you're that's coming in is not of a full-time trainer, right? So a lot of coaches I speak to say to me, I'm, a, I'm doing this full-time. I'm like, okay, that's great. Now, if we look at the numbers in the, in the, in the business, I, I then get to see that, right, this coach isn't really doing it full-time. He's doing a lot of sessions and he's probably doing so many sessions that it's kind of becoming a full-time thing. But the amount he's bringing in and the, the revenue that he's generating per month doesn't allow him to actually focus on this and do it and do it full time. Okay, he might be doing it now, but in the long term, it's going to get to a point where he's going to have to either repackage his business, restructure it, or he's going to have to go and find work elsewhere in order to be able to to pay his bills, essentially. So what I want to do with today is I want to share with you three things, right? It's, these are free tips, free strategies that will help you to get your piece of this million dollar business that we are in, okay? So number one, it's nurturing your lead, okay? Now, what do I mean by nurturing your lead? Nurturing your lead means when a lead comes in, how do you take that interest, take them for a journey where they become a client and they're paying you. 
Now, a simple process could be you might have a landing page, you might have a social media page, right? However way that that prospect is getting to you because they've reached out, they have a problem that they want to solve and they see that you're the guy or you're the girl that solves that problem. How can we then nurture that lead to the point where that lead is now becoming a paying customer? Now, something a lot of coaches don't remember or don't take take into account or don't think about is that even though that client has paid or that customer has paid you once, okay, now they're in your ecosystem, but nurturing that lead is right. How can we then get them to do other things with us? All right, so we're closing them on the first sale, but how can we now turn them into a long-term customer where they're consistently paying us, right? It might be where we're doing a, a camp or clinic, right? And they want to do the camper clinic with us, right? So they, they invest their, their money into the camper clinic. It might be that you're doing, uh, you're offering one-on-one sessions, right? Now they want to do one-on-one sessions because they might, they might be signed up into your group training, but now they see, right, okay, Leo's doing one-on-one training. Okay, I want to invest into one-on-one training because I want Leo to consistently be working with my, my child, Right, so that's nurturing the lead. Okay, so it's not just about closing and making the first sale. It's then how can we consistently sell and nurture that lead to the point where they're consistently doing business with us, right? They're investing in in other products and services that we offer, whether it be online training, in-person training, might be an ebook that you're working on that talks about confidence, nutrition, uh, fitness, strength and conditioning. Right. How are they investing more into you and exchanging something of value, which is their money, into help into solving a problem that you're solving for them? Right. Having that problem solved for them. So they're constantly investing money into you. Right. So that's nurturing your lead. How are you how are you getting that lead that's coming through Facebook, through text message, through a, a, a phone call? closing them into your training program, but now how can we get them to do other things with us? Okay, so that's nurturing. Now, the second one is establishing trust with your customers. So establishing trust is really important because establishing trust, it kind of goes back to the first point where the, the point where you're establishing that trust is when you're nurturing it, right? So if you're if a prospect comes in and you're getting on a phone call with them, right, they want to see proof that what you're saying to them is actually real. So if you're in soccer or if you're in basketball, okay, and you've helped athletes in your program to get college scholarships or to get to the next level, parents want to see proof of that. Okay, and that's something we teach in our accelerator program. How can we build that trust with the parents that come into our ecosystem? Right? And one very simple way is you can get on a Zoom call with them, okay, and you can share your screen and show them testimonials and client success stories that you have had with people that have already gone through the process in your program. Okay, so that is establishing trust. Okay, so you're a you're a company that has a trusted process that works, that already has worked, and you're taking the, the prospect, the customer, the lead through that journey with you to the point where they're like, okay, I trust this guy with my tri- child, right? I trust this coach with the hard earned money that I'm, I've made I trust them, okay? And when you get that trust, okay, that is ultimately how you turn clients from short-term to long-term, building that trust and establishing that with them, okay? So the third one is personalize your approach with your customers. Now, this is something that a lot of coaches and trainers, what they do is at the beginning phases of their business, they're really, really good at it. 
because they might have six, seven, 10, or maybe 20 clients that they can personalize the, the experience in their program. But as they start to grow and as they, as they get bigger, that personalized experience with customers begins to die down because of the volume of traffic that's coming into the company. Now, a, a simple way you can personalize it is getting on a phone call with customers, right? At the end of the month or once every two months and ask them how their experience is going with your training business, right? With your company. Uh, if you don't have the time to do it, you can either pay someone and that's all they do, right? They get on a call, you can pay them an hourly fee, however you want. You bring them in once, once a month or once every two months. And all they do is they call customers and they, and they ask them, how's the experience going? Okay. And you can train that, that, that rip to make the, the experience personal with the client, right? So talking about their child, uh, make sure they're mentioning the child's first name. So, so that parent knows, okay, this, this person knows who my child actually is. Right, so that's one way you can make the, the experience a bit more personal. Also yourself as the business owner, reaching out to customers, asking them how everything's going, uh, getting all your, all your players on a Zoom call and presenting to them. You can do an online workshop where you do it through Zoom. You can do an in-person workshop. It could be a free event where all your customers come and you present something to them. They can ask you questions and you can go back and forth with them. Could be like one, a thing you do once every month. Okay, so personalizing the experience will help you to get your share of this million dollar industry that we have. Okay, because with technology today and with so many competitors in your area, right, that, that is great for the customer. The customer can go and look around and shop around for a cheap trainer or they can stay in your program for a little while and then there's certain things that they don't like and they just go to your competitor. That's not what we want. We want to keep our customers for longer so that they're not going to our competitors and they, they keep investing month after month, year after year into your business. Okay. So again, if you need more help with this, something I work with coaches, business owners in the sports training industry with. So connect with me, visit description below, number of ways you can do that. And make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.